Good morning. This is White Raptor News Ministries giving you a 6.05 a.m. morning wake-up call. Um, well, I guess, you know what, I could go ahead and tell you what the temperature is outside, too. Didn't think about that. Hope everybody's having a pleasant day. What is, what is the temperature outside? 43 degrees. Now, for me, that's cold, folks. <laughs> right, I keep my dad, because my dad, he's 86 years old. He gets real cold real easy, so he keeps the house at 80 degrees all the time. Uh, 70 degrees is perfectly okay with me as, as long as I'm up and moving around inside the house. But if I'm just sitting idle, 70 degrees is even kind of cold for me as well. I hope everybody's having a pleasant morning. All praise and glory to the mighty most higher creator is one God. YouTube has really jumped into my uh, lessons here and they've started blocking content of mine, comments. So just want to let you YouTube executives know right off the bat and stuff, your time will come, okay? Your day will come. And when you stand before God, before judgment, if he allows me, I hope he's allowing me to stand right there so I can hold all of you accused of what you're doing to our world, how you're, how you're destroying our children, how you're pushing your sex on TikTok, Snapchat, platforms, Facebook, everywhere. You, you just can't get away from the depravity of our nation today and how weak women are because they think that this is what everybody in the world wants. No. This person here would like all the women in the world to fucking cover themselves up like the ladies that you're supposed to be instead of the tramps and hoes and Jezebels that American has become, okay? You are depraved fucking people. I'm sorry to tell you. Men, you're no get better. When I say that women have become depraved, I say that men, you've become weak. You don't work anymore. You let a woman sell her ass. Oh, baby, go out and make that money for us, man. You're a fucking simp. You're a punk. You're nothing. You're a piece of shit if you, if you operate like that. If that's what your soul is, is to let another woman lay on her back so she can make the money for you, then you are a simp. That makes me a simp because when I was in my 30s, I, I dated an escort. I did. I've dated him. So I know what it's like. To be involved in these kinds of relationships and stuff. The only way that you can be a man is for you. It's a hard walk to walk straight with the spirit of God. And that's in, in the spirit of truth. Okay. Not just any spirit folks. There's plenty of spirits out there. The, the supreme spirit of all. The almighty. The almighty one. Well, what The almighty one. That's what it, it doesn't say. The almighty three. huh? But all religions are all trinities. All of them are trinities. I'm learning the more that I read this Bible. And this is probably why I'm losing subscribers and losing views and stuff. Because people who have been listening to me are starting to see as well that by reading this entire scripture, this entire book. Like just last chapter, for instance. 21. Moses builds a bronze idol for the Israelites to look upon because the Lord has brought snakes into the into the camp and people are getting bit by the snakes so the people complain to Moses and Moses now wants to uh build he makes a uh an idol he carves a bronze snake and puts it on a on a cross to boot come on folks you don't find that kind of shady shit right there Moses built and I've said now a couple times in my lessons that I'm not even sure if the story of Moses is real or if even Moses is a real character that walked this plane of existence because the Bible has been hijacked. And if he has and he does walk this plane of existence, he he doesn't pay 100 percent attention to what the Lord tells him to do. The Lord tells him to strike a rock with the staff. He strikes the rock twice. He gets in trouble because of that. The people of Israel are, are um, what does it say about you? Stiff-necked. You're stiff-necked people and you, you don't follow the spirit of truth, okay? You're following 
a God, Yahweh, that's written in this Bible, and Yahweh's a man. And this is why everybody's got it wrong. If you are not simply serving the Spirit as it tells us to worship God in spirit and truth, then you are worshiping a man. The Supreme Spirit of all says that you're only to worship Him and Him alone, and that's what I suggest all of you do. All praise and glory to Him. I give love tenderness, compassion, my cell, every fiber, every piece of flesh, every ounce of blood that pumps through my veins, my heart, my mind, my soul, my essence, everything that I am, I submit to the supreme spirit of truth. I suggest you do the same thing as well. Okay? Get right with God. The only way the scales come off your eyes is when you stop all your pagan worship. We got a holiday coming around that they call Christmas here, and Christmas is death. The entire, every American religion is, or every American holiday is tied around death. You understand that? Except Easter, and Easter is about Ashar, Ashtar. So you better start learning a little bit, man. There's a lot of truth channels out there that are giving the truth. Okay, I don't know about you and how many hours a day each day you put into the Bible. I don't know how many hours you give each day to other channels that know what they are, that they're talking about. I don't know how many notes that you take. I don't know what you write down. I don't know what you try to remember. All I know is one thing. I love God today. I serve the spirit of truth today who is one God and he has put a download on me and I understand things now today inside of this Bible that other people aren't sharing with you. Most of the Israelites that worship today worship Jesus Christ as Yeshua or Yahawashai, okay? And it's you're wrong, okay? Those are the Israelites. So all of you, all these camps that are teaching you that Yeshua is God and they've changed the European white-eyed blue or the white lie blue-eyed Jesus Christ crucified to a black lie. That's all you've done. So I hope everybody's having a pleasant day. How you like that? That's the way it is. The spirit isn't playing anymore. He's going to hand people their asses that walk contrary. You got to understand, okay? Everybody has a soul on this plane of existence. That's what you're born into this plane of existence with, okay? You are a fragmented piece of the Supreme Spirit. You are of God, whether good or evil. Both the fabric of good and evil are weaved within one another. You can't have duality if you remove either one of them. If we all lived in a world of nothing but truth, then it would be a lie because we wouldn't know the lie. And that was the whole purpose of bringing this reality into duality. This is what you got to understand. I teach duality. I teach good and evil. I teach that God created a good race and God created a bad race. He created the bad race first. This You can identify that you are you and I am me and we are separate from one another and then you can put it in your head that the supreme creator, the spirit of truth, the spirit of all, put it all together, okay? And he created evil for its purpose. And he says himself, God says himself, the spirit of truth says himself, who can make straight what I have made crooked? He's telling you that he created a race of crooked people that cannot be straightened out. No matter how much compassion, no matter how much love, no matter how much you give to these people, they will always want more. They want power. They want control. They want to take, 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 and they're willing to kill cover and do anything that it takes to keep their lies and secrets underneath of wrap. You are in hell, folks. If you love this place, you are going to pay a high price, man. This is not the place that you want to be, okay? There's another place of life, okay? That's where we're trying to get to. We're trying to get back home to life where we came from, okay? You're a fractal particle of the supreme spirit of truth, and you've fallen away from him, the only trinity that you can get back to the spirit of God with is you, your wife, and God alone. That's the only trinity that exists because once you and your wife become together as one and both of you serve the spirit of God as one, you all become one with God. And that is the only way that we can return. Stop your blasphemy, stop your lying, stop your fornicating, your cheating, your murdering, your raping, your destroying, your beating down, throwing down, shutting down people for simply sharing the truth. Because of you who get in my way, you are going to get stomped on. That's what I have to say. That's how I feel. I'm fired up this morning.
I'm fired up because I'm tired of my shit getting blocked. I'm tired of people <clears throat> sending me messages and telling me, hey, Raptor bro, I'm trying to comment on your channel, man, and they're, not, they're blocking my stuff. I get that all the time. So I know YouTube's blocking my shit, and you motherfuckers that are blocking my shit, you're going to get yours. I'm going to stand before the Spirit of God, pointing my fucking fingers at you, telling you, yeah, that's them right there. That's the ones that did it. Okay, I may not be able to see who your little nappy fucking asses are behind the computer board, motherfucker, but bet your ass God does. Your time's coming. Your time's coming. I'm done with you government officials. I'm done with you elected, you elite, you fucking pieces of shit is what you are. You're liars, you're thieves, you're crooks, you're animals, man. You're wild fucking animals. You're beasts, you're demons, you're devils. You're everything that's fucking rotten on the face of this earth. That's how I feel this morning. Because I'm tired of my shit getting blocked. I'm tired of my channel not being able to grow. I'm tired of you guys fucking putting a stick between me and the people. You're going to pay. You better, you're going to pay. And if, they, if it's a machine, an algorithm that's, that's, that, that's cutting me down because the machine, the algorithm doesn't want to hear the word rape and doesn't want to hear the pedophile, fuck you. I don't give a fucking anyways, anyways, you bitch. Good morning. This is White Raptor News. Isn't it such a pleasant day today? Yeah, well, that's what happens when I wake up in a bad mood. Block summons Blum. We're at 22 of numbers. Okay? Then the Israelites traveled to the plains of Moab and camped along the Jordan across the Jericho. Now Balak, son of Zippor, saw all the Israelites had done to the Amorites. And Moab was terrified because there were so many people. Indeed, Moab was filled with dread because of the Israelites. A nation of lovers, a, na a, a spiritual nation of heavenly bodies. You need to be terrified of a spiritual nation of heavenly bodies. You wouldn't have to be terrified of them if you just, if, if you just treated people right, man. Why can't people treat people right on this plane of existence? Because I'm trying to tell you that there was a race of people that are created crooked. No matter what you do, man, they are always going to be liars, parasites, evil demons. That's what they are, man. They're demons inside of flesh suits. Wake up to that. The Moabites said to the elders of Midian, this, or, this horde is going to lick up everything around us. As an ox licks up the grass of the field. So Balak, son of Zippor, who was king of Moab at that time, sent messengers to summon Balaam, son of Boar, who was the Pathor, who was at Pathor near Euphrates River in his native land, Balak said, a people has come out of Egypt. They cover their faces of the land and have settled next to me. Now come and put a curse on these people because they are too powerful for me. Perhaps then I will be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that whoever has you bless is blessed and whoever you curse is cursed. Okay, look, check it out right here, man. <clears throat> Genesis chapter 12 verse 3, Bible Hub. Right here, man. I will bless those Gentile who bless you, Hebrew, and I will curse those Gentile who curse you, Hebrews, and all the family, Gentile and Hebrews of the earth, Gentile, all the families of the Gentile of the earth will be blessed through you, the Hebrew or the Israelite, okay? Now today with everything rocking the way it is and so much crossbreeding that's been going on. That's what this whole ordeal is all about, folks, is because of the crossbreeding that's going on. Imagine, if you will, that the Spirit, the Supreme Spirit of God, He creates a heavenly body. Everything is heavenly. Nothing of the materialized world has been created yet. Everything is a spiritual world. Everything in pure harmony with one another everything divine as one divine is one and then a fracture in a thought a single thought away from 
the supreme spirit of all. That fracture was and crack that existed came from one of the people, one of the heavenly bodies being created that was uh, taking worship of itself in the wrong way, all these heavenly bodies. And this one entity, which is a divinity, an entity that is a divinity of the supreme, divide, divi, D-I-V-I -I Latin means to divide. It means to divvy up. So the supreme spirit of all, the creator who is one, okay? He himself, if Satan, if God is only one, then Satan can't exist. But yet you and I, we feel individuals of each other. We are individuals of each other. It's us. We're individuals. But yet we're not. We're really all pieces. We're all of the Supreme Spirit. The only way that we can come back to the, to the Supreme Spirit is to yield ourselves and our souls to Him. The Spirit of life. Remember, it's got to be the Spirit of the living. It's got to be the Spirit of truth. Okay? A people has come out of Egypt. They cover the face of the land and have settled next to me. Now come up and put a curse on these people. Why? Because they are too powerful for me. Why would he want to curse the people when he even himself, he knows that those here that he serves will be uh, cursed. Okay? If you're going to curse, he knows them. He's asking to be cursed. Give me one second. Right here, now, six. Now come and put a curse on these people because they are too powerful. But but yet he knows. Okay? Perhaps then I will be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that whoever you bless is blessed and whoever you curse is cursed. So why why wouldn't he just bless them and say, yeah, brothers, come on through. Man, you're more than welcome, man. You know, take your time. We love you, brothers. Okay, listen. I don't want any of my listeners to think that I don't love the chosen children of the Most High. I just don't know who they are anymore. I, well, I know who a few of them are. You know, Brother Rakima, man. I believe that Brother Rakima, he's, he's, that. there's no more gentle soul on the face of the earth than that man there. He's a beautiful soul. Um, Anaya Obadiah. Uh, another beautiful soul. How do I do I say that they're they're beautiful souls? Because when I listen to these two, they say they love God. They're the only instructors that I know that that say I love God. I love God. And when somebody is saying that, that's who you want to surround yourself with. Somebody who says I love God. They don't put a name to God. They don't call God by a name. They just worship the spirit, the living truth. That's Those are my brothers and sisters. Okay? And because so much crossbreeding has been taking place, we don't know who Israel is today. Because I'll be honest with you, those that are in the providence of Israel today, they are the imposters. They're the ones that have hijacked this plane of existence. This is why... Everybody wants to destroy the Jew, the Jews in that providence, because you don't know that the Jews in that providence are the evil of the world. They're not the true Hebrew Israelite. The spirit of truth allowed them to capture and, and change this entire format in this reality that we live in when they chose to eat from the apple of tree of knowledge of good and evil. The whole script flipped upside down. And I'm, I'm, you have been in captivity ever since. I don't know that the Hebrew Israelites have ever ruled the world as the Bible tells us that God has given you stuff because clearly there's no peace that comes. I've, this plane of existence is perpetual war. It's it's a never-ending place of death. 
You got to start understanding what these scriptures are saying, folks. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, picking back up at seven. The elders of Moab and Midian left, taking with them the fee for divination. When they came to Balaam, they told him what Balak had said. Told him what Balak had said. Spend the night here, Balaam said to them, and I will report back to you with the answer the Lord gives me. So the Moabites officials stayed with him. God came to Balaam and asked, Who are these men with you? Balaam said to God, Balak, son of Zippor, king of Moab, sent me this message. A people that has come out of Egypt covers the face of the land. Now come and put a curse on them for me. Perhaps then I will be able to fight them and drive them away. Again, war. So you have nations always wanting to make war with God's chosen people. Divine. Some divinities. Entities. Spiritual bodies. Heavenly bodies. All right? Not flesh. Okay? You got to get this through your head, man. That you guys are, you're just, you're killing a piece of flesh. You're not killing the soul. You, well, you kill your soul if you, you murder Okay, the spirit only uses evil to correct people when they're acting evil. Okay, if you are raping or destroying young children's lives, then you're going to get the shit beat out of you. That's the way it works. If not beat out of you, your soul removed from your flesh. Okay, and you got all this evil that entices you with all of this, these with all the sins of the world, man. They're the ones that entice it. So now again, he's still, he's wanting him to put a curse. But I don't believe that Balaam does so. But God said to Balaam, do not go with them. You must not put a curse on those people because they are blessed. Who's blessed? Israel. Okay. Hebrew. The true Jew. Hebrew. Okay, maybe, maybe the Hebrew, maybe the Israelites are descendants and ancient descendants of the Anunnaki. Okay, but I don't necessarily believe that the Anunnaki came out from another place. Okay, that's another story. I've talked about it before. We'll get around to that again. We'll be doing this the rest of my life, by the way. The next morning, Balaam got up and said to Balak's officials, Go back to your own country, for the Lord has refused to let me go with you. So the Moabite officials returned to Balak and said, Balaam refuses to come with us. Now remember, these are men. Balaam is a man. Balak is a man. They're having conversations with people with each other. They're men <clears throat> who've placed themselves in God positions. They're magistrates. Okay, remember, I've been teaching you about magistrates for a long time now. So, then Balak sent other officials, more numerous and more distinguished than the first. They came to Balaam and said, This is what Balak, son of Zippor, says. Do not let anything keep you from coming to me, because I will reward you handsomely and do whatever you say. Come and put a curse on these people for me. <clears throat> now, who, who wants to have this curse really put on these people and for what reason? What's the reason for the curse? Because God made something crooked, the Supreme Spirit, what was made crooked, allowed himself to separate a, a, a divinity, God dividing himself up, the good, creating the bad, the Almighty, the one that knows all, creating the bad, giving the giving what this heavenly body that he created bad power and authority, knowing that it would go to his head because it was something created flesh. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Now spend the night here so that I can find out what else the Lord will tell me. Sorry about that. Let me start back over here at 18 again. But Balaam answered them, Even if Balak gave me all the silver and gold in the palace, I could not do anything great or small to go beyond the commands of the Lord my God. Now spend the night here so that I can find out what else the Lord will tell me. So we have a conversation again what the Lord will tell me. We got a lot of misinformation that come that's coming in. We've got misinformation to who God is. We got numbers of God. We got Balaam who's God. We got Balak who's God. We got Jacob and Moses and all the others that are gods, used of God, parts of God, entities of God, spiritual bodies of God, heavenly bodies. Keep saying it over and over. Okay? That night God came to Balaam and said, Since these men have come to summon you, go with them, but do only what I tell you. Balaam's donkey. This is the, this is, oh, these stories here. Okay, let's just read it. Balaam got up in the morning, saddled his donkey, and went with him, and went with the Moabite officials. But God was very angry when he went. Hold on, he just told him to go. Why would he be angry with him? Hmm, did it, does anybody else hear that? God tells him to go and now he's angry with him. But God was very angry when he went. And the angel of the Lord stood in the road to oppose him. Another angel, remember, what are angels? Here, let me show you. Strong's 32. Angelos. Greek Hebrew definition Bible tool from Angelo. An angel is to bring tidings, a messenger, especially an angel by implications, a pastor. So these angels, when they talk about angels in the Bible, they're not seraphim, they're not spiritual bodies but they are something that is being used of the supreme spirit of god let me show you what i'm talking about genesis chapter 1 verse 1 bible hub okay this would be the god of this realm here god in the beginning god god here is elohim and elohim is a plural of eloa which would be the plural of the supreme spirit Okay, it's gods in the ordinary sense, but specifically used of the Supreme Spirit. You understand? So the Supreme Spirit of Truth, the living God, the All, the Almighty One, permitted a God, this God here, plural, of Eloah, in its ordinary sense, but specifically used of the living God to create this plane of existence, the beginning, because God, the supreme living God, this is this God here is not the supreme living God. That's what I'm telling you, okay? Get it out of your mind that that is not the supreme, okay? It's something that is used of the supreme. So this is what was permitted in the beginning. This God here created the heavens and earth. This God here, which is used of the supreme God, created the heaven and earth. This is the beginning of time. The supreme God stands outside of time, space, and matter. Therefore, this is the beginning. The beginning. And who is the beginning? Jesus is the beginning. And what is the beginning made up of? 60 seconds, 60 minutes, 24 hours in a day, 2 plus 4 is 6. In the beginning is 666. Six, six. Kaboom. Nobody tells it better. That's right, man. Because the Spirit, the Spirit, I pray for the Spirit of Truth to be on me all the time. I beg for the Spirit of Truth to always be upon me, to stay upon me if He's been upon me. 
So Balaam got up in the morning, saddled his donkey, and went with the Moabite officials. God was angry when he went, and the angel of the Lord stood in the road to oppose him. Balaam was riding on his donkey, and his two servants were with him. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with the drawn sword in his hand, it turned off the road into a field. Balaam beat it to get it back on the road. Then the angel of the Lord stood in a narrow path through the vineyards with the walls on both sides. When the angel, when the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it pressed close to the wall, crushing Balaam's foot against it. So he beat the donkey again. Then the angel of the Lord moved on ahead and stood in the narrow place where there was no room to turn either to the right or to the left. And I tell people all the time, man, when you're listening at my channel here, don't turn to the left, don't turn to the right, because if you do, you'll get smacked in the mouth, man. The only way to the Lord, the supreme spirit of truth, is a narrow path. And if you turn one way or the other, you're going to get smacked. It's that simple. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it lay down under Balaam. And he was angry and beat it with his staff. Then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth and it said to Balaam, a donkey said to Balaam, the donkey spoke with Balaam, what have I done to you to make you beat me these three times? Oh, a talking donkey. You got to really have a, a weak mind if you believe that donkeys talk to people in this reality. Look. Anything outside the construct of this physical reality doesn't take place. Supernatural things can take place, don't get me wrong. But wells don't swallow people and regurgitate them on a beach three days later. Donkeys don't talk to people, okay? Jesus didn't feed the multitudes with just two fish, okay? He fed the multitudes with many fish. What Jesus did is he prayed over the two fishermen and he told the fishermen to cast their nets to this side who had only been fishing all day and caught two nets in the fish. And then he prayed over the two fishermen and the two fishermen were told to cast their nets to this side here. And then when they cast their nets, because that's what Jesus told them to do, the multitudes were fed. These are parables, metaphors, and allegories. They're riddles, folks. They're not everything in the Bible is to be taken literal. But we can take the fact that something was evil and something is good literal. Okay? I'm showing you that there are multiple gods that are all used of the supreme God. And the supreme one says that he will eventually destroy all the other gods, 12, 12 of Exodus, underneath the, uh, the sky. Exodus chapter 20, uh, Exodus chapter 12, verse 12, Bible Hub. On that night, I will pass through the land of Egypt and strike down every firstborn male, both man and beast. Both Hebrew and Gentile. Both Hebrew and Gentile. And I will execute judgment against the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. So he is going to execute judgment against the gods of the Egypt. The King James Bible says, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, both human and unhuman, both human and walking dead, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Okay. So I don't believe that donkeys talk to people. Okay. I mean, if you buy into this stuff, it just really, it tells you how weak you are in the mind. It tells you how sensitive we truly are as as souls inside of these creature suits, these meat suits, these flesh suits, okay? The soul has been trapped. It's been encaptured. It's been encapsulated inside of a flesh suit. So we're trapped. And not only is it trapped inside of the flesh suit, it's trapped underneath of the, the firmament, okay? 
Okay? So, you need to put the all the magical uh, goss, the ghost spell that's been cast over your eyes into to not buying into these silly little stories and trying to read between the lines on what's really being said. Balaam answered the donkey, <laughs> You have made a fool of me. If only I had a sword in my hand, I would kill you right now. Oh well, if it was a talking a talking donkey, I would I he must have ate some mushrooms along the path on the way is the only explanation that I could possibly give you. He must have found some good ones too. Pulled over and had himself a couple of tops, man. Some mushroom tops, popped them and then a half hour later you have the donkey talking to you. The donkey said to Balaam, I am I, not your donkey? which you have always ridden to this day? Have I been in the habit of doing this to you? No, he said. Then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with the sword drawn. So he bowed low and fell face down. So the whole story here is they're, they're cruising along on this donkey, but uh, Balaam couldn't see the angel in front of the donkey. Now, that part of the story I could probably understand a little bit better. You know, the angel, animals, animals have a higher connection, uh, a better vibration. A animals on this plane of existence know that they're creations of the Most High. A creations. They know it, just like I know I'm a creation. Okay, I, I know that I have a soul. I know. But people don't. You think that the flesh suit's all you have. And when it dies, that's it. And sadly, when you believe like that, it's going to be the worst for you. The angel of the Lord asked him, Why have you beaten your donkey these three times? Remember, folks, three times. Three, 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 man. You hear three, three, three in the Bible over and over and over. Jesus in the tomb for, for three days, man. Jonah in the well of the body for three days, man. Beating the animal for three days, man. Jesus, he, he, he disappeared at 12 years of age, and one plus two is three. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And as I, funny, I imagine that as I come to parable 33. <laughs> We have, uh, I have come here to oppose you because your path is a reckless one before me. The donkey saw me and turned away from me these three times. If it had not turned away, I would certainly have killed you by now. But I would have spared, but I would have spared it, the donkey. Balaam said to the angel of the Lord, I have sinned. I did not realize you were standing in the road to oppose me. Now, if you are displeased, I will go back. So the angel of the Lord said to Balaam, Go with the men, but speak only what I tell you. So Balaam went with Balak's officials. When Balak heard that Balaam was coming, he went out to meet him at the Moabite town on the Arnon border. At the edge of his territory, Balak said to Balaam, Did I not send you an urgent summons? Why did you come to me? Why didn't you come to me? I am am I? I always mess that up. I, for some reason, I always want to throw an I in front of the am. I am. Am I really not able to reward you? Well, I have come to you now, Balaam re replied. But I can't say whatever I please. I must speak only what God puts in my mouth. Then Balaam went with Balak to Karahath, Huzoth. Balak sacrificed cattle and sheep and gave some to Balaam and the officials who were with him. The next morning, Balak took Balaam up to Bamath, Baal, and from there he could see the outskirts of the Israelite camp. So you should have blessed them, huh? All right, folks. Didn't realize it turned into be a pretty long lesson, 40-minute lesson. So I'm going to cut out of here. I know that it was a rant in the beginning, but 
sometimes I wake up in the morning, folks, and, uh, you know, I just have a lot on my mind. Um, be honest with you, what, what really snaps and chaps my ass more than anything is um, the depravity of our nation today and the weakness of men and uh, what we've trained our women to become. I want no part of it. When I stand before God, I want to stand forgiven for what, for my own transgressions, for my own immoral sex, my own actions, everything that I have engaged with. I am truly, from the bottom of my heart, deeply repentant in my actions and transgressions against Him. I hope that all of you go to your rooms, you hit your knees, you bow, you pray, and you ask for the Spirit of Truth to be upon you so that you can discern what the truth is. All praise and glory to the mighty most higher creator who is one. There is none like him. Give him the praise that he is worthy of. To all things be his glory. To my devoted listeners who do listen to me, I'm very grateful. I love you, my brothers and sisters. You're everything to me. You are my family. You're a deeper part of my family than my own flesh and blood. Because my own flesh and blood today is turned completely against this beautiful knowledge that has been downloaded upon me. And I hope that the people that hear this message can take what I say at face value and know that I have nothing but the truth in my heart today. All praise and glory to him. Give him the praise that he is worthy of. This is White Raptor News Ministries.